Over in Dorking in Surrey, I'm visiting a pair of artists not to watch paint dry, but grass grow. This is a really amazing thing, actually, to look so, at. Duo Ackroyd and Harvey turn grass into biochemical portraits. This slightly grainy texture is the seed, and it's just starting to put out its very, very first shoot. So this is in the early stage of developing. Yeah, up close, it there's is. grass. <laughs> a black and white negative is projected onto the grass. The more light the grass receives, the greener it will be. We just need to wait a few weeks for the grass to grow into a portrait. Well, this is now grown and it's been... Ackroyd and Harvey usually exhibit their work just like this. But for Cornelia's black and white room, it's a little bit too, well, green. The point is that this isn't the finished piece, though, is it? No, it's not. The finished piece actually is upstairs. Can I have a look? Come and have a look, yeah. Can I help you choose? Absolutely. Yeah. Works of grass don't last for long, and Ackroyd and Harvey have come up with an idea to preserve it. A deceptively simple black and white photograph. It feels so drawn. That aspect of it being grass at some mm. point may not be immediately obvious. Does that matter, do you think? No, I think at this point it's taken on a life of its own. I'm just really hoping that she will, that she will really like it. Two weeks later, and all Cornelia's artists have sent their work to the Royal Academy. You, you seem like you're having fun doing it. Yes, it's, it's great. It's like sculpting with other people's works. I'm, I'm trying to tease out as many playful little juxtapositions as I can. For example, over here, we've got uh, Bob and Roberta Smith sign positioned uh, above a piece by Keith Coventry, which is a looted shop window made in bronze. It almost suggests that the reason this window has been looted is because far less children did art at school, which I think is quite funny and mischievous. <laughs> it's the first time that Cornelia's seen some of the works she's commissioned. The Ackroyd and Harvey piece, yes. how do you feel about that? I think it's turned out brilliantly. I really love it. But, you know, I've had a lot of people come through and go, ooh, and get drawn into it, and the closer you get, it disappears. It's quite beautiful. <laughs> and the bachelor pieces? I love the surface because, you know, they just become graphic when you have a photograph of them, but when you get close to them, you realise this is a lake of paint that's dried over a period of time. Yes, of course, it's stressful. Certainly, people view being in the Royal Academy Summer Show as, with horror. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, these people have trusted me with their work, so I'm hoping that I can, you know, give them a, a good showing.